Raise your hands out there in TV land. How many of you like a good fight? We're going to get inside the boxing ring today. Here is the consummate CNBC bull and the CNBC bear. Side by side, gloves off, and we've got one of each with us today. Yeah. Yoshi is still here, and who else? Look who's dropped by. He was in the neighborhood. Dr. <laughs> Mark Faber, editor, publisher of the Gloom, Boom, and Doom Report. Now, let's start this convo, sir, sirs, and find out who is the bear and who is the bull here. I think you're growing horns today, Mark. <laughs> no, not at all. As you know, I'm ultra bearish about the world. I think we're all doomed because the governments are taking over and they will all bankrupt us and expropriate us, <gasps> but it may not happen tomorrow. So they'll give us something to play with uh -huh. until the whole system breaks down, and that is a bull market. They'll just print money and print more money. Well, there you have it, Marty. Unbridled <laughs> uh, pessimism from Dr. Doom. <laughs> oh, you big bear, you. Michael, where do you stand? Uh, I'm not an ultra bear. Uh, uh, I, I'm concerned. I think that uh, much of what Mark brings up, I think, actually makes a lot of sense in terms of concerns that we need to be watching for. I think it's a matter of where those concerns go that we, we tend to disagree. I think that the bearish concerns that he has are going to be a negative for the markets. I think it's going to be a negative for the economy, which I think then means it will slow growth down it won't kill growth, it won't result in collapse, it'll just simply slow growth down. Mm -hmm. Eventually emerging markets will rise, the United States will not grow as fast, so the balance of power will start to shift. That's my view. Now, uh, I, I'm, I'm stunned to find that's an optimistic view, <laughs> but relatively <laughs> speaking, down relatively down speaking <laughs> that is an optimistic view. I know that um, compared to the more bullish folks on Wall Street, I am considered uh, pretty negative, pretty yeah. uh, concerned, but okay. I guess it's just a matter of what outcomes. Karen, are. Uh, the two gentlemen in the studio are yeah. raring for a fight uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just noticing Mark's uh, hook there it had uh, quite a swing to it, a little bit of a punch, bit of power behind that punch. Mark, what do you make of all these strong earnings reports coming out of Wall Street? Do you think it's all linked to the fact that the Fed is printing money? Is this all stimulus gains that we're seeing in earnings reports? Or is there real strength for recovery, sustainability buried somewhere underneath all those reports? Well, I think, first of all, in 2009, the corporate sector was very quick to lay off people. So they cut down on uh, their employees uh, dramatically and uh, sales have not been great by and large so the earnings are the growth is not sustainable un unless revenues come back and that may take a while but don't misunderstand me i think before we all are doomed mm -hmm. the markets can go much much higher because of the stimulus that the government has brought about, that the stimulus packages, that will eventually bankrupt the sovereign states. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they're going to print and print and print. And the Goldman Sachs indictment is actually a very good excuse to print more eventually. What, uh, since you brought up Goldman, I mean, you uh, choose off the a la carte menu. You've got <laughs> the Goldman thing, and, you know, the bits are up in that uh, standoff there. Greece, they're still going around in circles there. What's going to be the big litmus test? What do you think is going to be upset the balance of nature as we know it? Well, actually, I think that actually Goldman Sachs is a rather honest firm. They have a very strict compliance department compared to the others. They're like an angel. Mm -hmm. But they targeted Goldman because it stands as a symbol of Wall Street. Yeah. Plus, it's also Israel. Mm -hmm. You understand? So they go after Goldman Sachs. The approval rating of Mr. Obama has plunged, even or because of the health care reforms. And now they go after Goldman Sachs to distract the attention of the people and target the minority, Wall Street and Goldman Sachs. And maybe the intention is not to hurt Goldman Sachs, but just to gain popularity with the middle class and the lower classes of America. Yeah. So they 
will perceive Mr. Obama to have done something against the evil Wall Street Mike, there's a rare and the evil Bernie Law at CNBC. Now, wait a minute. This is getting awfully personal here. <laughs> yes. I think Le Lloyd Blankbein's a pretty happy man, having heard from Dr. Doom there, Mike. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think that, um, <laughs> I, I think that the, the Goldman story, um, at this point, we just don't know how deep it's going to run. At this point, it does seem mm -hmm. like a fairly isolated case. But I wanted to comment a bit, if I could, on what Marcus said, because, you know, investors will watch CNBC. They're looking for investable, actionable advice. Yes. Yes. Right? Correct. Okay. So I, I have here I, all this. You have all your actions. I got that. So you, you've got all these ideas, and basically you're, I think if anybody was to say, what do you stand for, basically it's that the world is coming to an end. I think that's correct. 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 Okay. But at the same time, you just kind of slid in there that for the time being, yes. it's okay to invest. So it's very important for investors to realize right. there's a time horizon shift here. Mm -hmm. yes. I know that in your previous um, GBT, GBD newsletters, you talked about how the Bloom, disaster... Boom, doom. 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 What did I say? Boom, boom, and doom. And boom, boom, doom. Report. Gentlemen, we'll pick up on this chat.